Spaghetti and meatballs. No, it's not an American thing. It's actually a dish from Abruzzo, from the province of Teramo. And my nonna make it all the time. All you have to do, you have to make tiny mini meatballs and use the right type of spaghetti. I'm gonna show you in this video how it's done so you can stop making the spaghetti meatballs the wrong way. Mm. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to cook amazing Italian recipes. You have to stop serving those spaghetti meatballs, those massive spaghetti meatballs and the spaghetti. Spaghetti are so small, meatballs are so big, you can't get them together. This is how you do it. You just get the tiny little meatballs. When you do this to the spaghetti, you, you get the meatballs and the spaghetti. And you do have to use specific spaghetti to do this. You can't just use any spaghetti. Guys, you wanna learn how to cook Italian the proper way, you follow my channel and I will teach you one video at a time how to do it. And this is how to do the classic spaghetti meatballs. To make spaghetti meatballs the Italian way, we need simple ingredients and not what you normally use for meatballs. Okay, so we are making 300 grams of spaghetti and I'm using spaghettone quadrato, which is a round spaghetto, very nice and thick. You are meant to use egg and made spaghetti for this dish, okay? But you don't wanna make pasta from scratch, you buy from the shop, but you look for the thickest spaghetti you can find. Then we need 200 grams of veal mince, okay, so ground veal. Beef is a bit tough, but it's okay. We need two large tablespoons of pecorino cheese, a little bit of parsley, salt and pepper. Then for the sauce, we need one chopped carrot, half chopped onion, and one celery stick, chopped of course, the same size. Basil, which is very important, extra virgin olive oil, and homemade passata, or you can just buy the passata from the shop. You just need one bottle of passata because we're only making 300 grams, okay? But if you're making a family and you need one kilo of pasta, you might need to use three bottles, okay? Mmm, this passata smells so good. We need one egg to combine the ingredients of the meatballs. First thing to do is the sauce, okay? The sauce will take about 45 minutes to one hour, okay? So what we do, we put a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil, about three to four tablespoons, and we do the sofrito, okay? Here we have an Irish flag, and that's what we do. Onion, carrot, and celery is the sofrito for the tomato sauce. It is a must. You have to do this most of the time when you make a tomato sauce. If the kids don't like to eat carrots and celery, you can blend them. Then you do the sofrito with the blended carrot, celery and onion. You put the sauce and your kids, they will enjoy it without knowing it that you use them. All right, what we do now for about 10 minutes, we want to cook the sofrito, okay? We want the carrots, the celery, the onion to make love together, to get softer and give us the flavors of the base of the sauce. I didn't finally chop the carrot, let me tell you, they're pretty big. So if you can cut them smaller, that would be best. Okay guys, this is, this is ready. Our ingredients are ready, you know, you will know because of the beautiful smell in your kitchen. So what we do now is we're gonna add the homemade tomato sauce, put in there, and quickly, quickly stir. Ah, oh, the beautiful flavors of the tomatoes. They go into my nostril. Oh, I love the tomato flavors. Look how beautiful and thick this tomato sauce is. Look how beautiful, look how fantastic it is. Just love it. All right, once you put the sauce in there, you put half tablespoon of sea salt. That's what Nonna will do. Generous amount of pepper. Generous. Quick stir. And then we gently cook it on a low heat 
for about one hour, I would say, at least one hour. Let's cover the lid so the moist stays inside, all the flavors stay inside, and nothing get away from this pot. Everything has to stay inside. Okay, this is how we make meatballs for spaghetti meatballs, which is traditionally from my nonna's town. So we put a nice pinch of salt, a nice amount of pepper, just be generous with the pepper. Then what we do is we put the pecorino, put the pecorino in there, put the parsley, and last but not least, we are going to add the egg. Okay, we just put the egg in there, Perfect, and now what we do is, we are going to mix this, okay? We're going to mix, this is not your classic meatball. This is a meatball that we're making just for this pasta, okay? So it's a different type of meatball. And we actually are going to cook the meatballs in a very different way, not the way that you think it is, okay? So here it is, it's nice and moist. These meatballs are gonna be very, very nice and moist. So and just squash it, squash it like that. When you make meatballs, you're gonna get your hands dirty, you know, you have to. You have to get your hands dirty. You wanna put more cheese, put more cheese. Less cheese, put less cheese. What's important is that you're using a good quality meat. Okay, I think I mixed the ingredients very well. And now we can make the mini meatballs, like Nonna. Okay, what we do now is, let's put the meat on one side. We put extra virgin olive oil on the other side. I need the extra virgin olive oil to wet the palm of my hand. Now, we get a plate with baking paper. What I do is I wet the palm of my hand here with the, with the oil so the meatball doesn't get stuck. And we get a small amount, so this is too big. We make the meatball, okay? By doing this, you make the meatball, but that's too big. We have to make it very small, okay? It is time consuming, it was gonna take time. But this is what we wanna do. We wanna make a tiny, tiny, small meatball. When you get the fork and the spaghetti, you will be able to have the meatball on the fork and the spaghetti, okay? Smaller, smaller than this. I'm making them too big. Smaller, tiny. We wanna make them tiny, small, little meatball. Try to make them round. Now, oh, yeah, it's gonna take time to make this, but you can get your kids to help you. Your partner can help you. Your mom can do it with you. You know, don't, don't cook by yourself. Get someone to help you. Your dog can help you to make it. You know, just have fun in the kitchen, please. Just a quick behind the scene. I've got Mason, you know, he's the cameraman who is actually now helping to make meatballs. Why Mason? It's gotta be done. <laughs> it's no, it takes time, so you need help. Vince, you need a bigger crew. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. We have finished making the meatballs. And here are the mini, 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 mini meatballs, which we are gonna use for our spaghetti and mini meatballs. All right, guys, now, our sauce is ready. After one hour, look how beautiful it looks. Of course, you need to stir it, okay? Make sure you stir the sauce, otherwise it will get stuck to the bottom. Now, we're not gonna put the meatballs inside the sauce. I'm gonna show you what to do, okay? Now, first, we need to put the basil inside the sauce. The sauce is almost done. We wanna finish it off with the flavors of the basil. And you don't cut the basil on the chopping board, otherwise the flavors will stay on the chopping board. You're just gonna cut with your hands. Mmm, beautiful smell of basil. Okay, we just put it in there. Look how big this one is. Now it's time to stir the basil, stir the sauce. And what we're gonna do is, we are gonna get some sauce here, some, which we are gonna place it here, in a small little pot, okay? That would be enough, okay? This is where we're gonna put the meatballs after we boil them, okay? So now, keep the sauce on the side and let's boil the meatballs. The water is boiling, we put one tablespoon of sea salt, okay? Very, very easy. Now we're going to put the meatballs in the boiling water. So what happens is they're not gonna break, because if you put them in the, in the sauce, they will break. So what we do is we kind of seal them in, in about a minute or a minute and a half. We quickly boil them and then we put them in the small pot with the sauce. Oh my God, that's the smallest meatball. Look how small this one is. <laughs> 
Thank you. All right, guys, look. They're coming out. Look, they're already, they're ready to go, see? They are ready. What I'm going to do now with these meatballs, I'm going to put them in the small pot over here, okay? See, they're coming to the surface. Hey, it took us time to make them. <laughs> I want to make sure I enjoy them. Oh, I can't find this more meatball. Where is it? Oh, I can't find it. Oh. All right, see, basically this is what it is, okay? A little pot here with the sauce, with the meatballs. We keep quickly, gently mix. So every single meatball has the sauce, okay? So the sauce is very hot. The meatballs are boiled. So you don't really need to do much, okay? You just wanna keep them warm. So keep them on a very, 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 very low heat. So you keep it nice and warm. All right, now let's boil the pasta and follow the instruction on the packet. This one takes 12 minutes to cook. Always push the pasta in so it will cook evenly. And stir the pasta every couple of minutes. Okay, so after 12 minutes, we're getting a mug and we get the pasta water, okay? We don't need much, but just a little bit. Full of starch. What we do now, we get the pasta out and look how beautiful this pasta is. I just want you to see, see this is thick spaghetti, okay? This is an important, important ingredient, the thick spaghetti. They absorb the sauce, they make love with the spaghetti and it is so important. Honestly, Nonna will never use dry pasta. She will only make this with egg pasta and made, of course, by her. But this is the closest it gets to the spaghetti alla guitarra that Nonna makes. Okay, so now, here we have the sauce. And what we do is we put the spaghetti in there. We put a little bit of pasta water, not too much, okay? Less than half mug, and we mix. Mix it together. We want this beautiful sauce to be absorbed by the pasta. Look how beautiful this pasta is, huh? Look at this beautiful color. Look how beautiful the spaghettis are. Oh, stunning. Okay guys, now this is where the magic begins, okay? This is how you mix the spaghetti meatballs like nonna, okay? So, you put the spaghetti in there, okay, you do one layer, put the pecorino or parmigiano, you put some meatballs in there, okay? And then we do another layer. I don't wanna see you putting the spaghetti first and then you put the sauce on top. Everything needs to be mixed properly okay mix again a generous amount of pecorino or parmigiano and you put the meatballs there okay and then here we do the top part the top part again more spaghetti spaghetti everywhere yum spaghetti over here i'm gonna put the meatball and make sure you all keep some meatballs to put on the plate okay put the meatballs on top just like that that's what you want. This is what you want. Meatballs on top, sprinkle of cheese to go everywhere. And here is how you make your spaghetti meatballs, ladies and gentlemen. Look what happens here, guys, look what happens. I get the spaghetti and the meatballs are there, are there on the same fork. This is the beauty of this, see? You eat the spaghetti and you get the meatballs in there. What more do you want? What more do you want, huh? You can't do this with the large meatballs. Um, let's have it. It's the best time of the video recipe. Mm, the pasta. Such an important a pasta, very nice and thick. The meatballs, the basil is there. Mm, look at that. Look at that. See, the meatball is always there. Mm, mm. I'm going to eat the whole thing. Oh, yeah. This is comfort food. It reminds me of my grandmother. My nonna make me this almost every Sunday. One of the best meals I have had in my life. Mmm. Mmm, 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 
This is my nonna in a plate. I feel like I'm a nonna's house. My meatballs are moist, full of flavors. Mmm. This is the spaghetti meatballs you have been waiting for. Guys, what can I say? Mm, I'm licking my finger. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia Vincenzo's Plate.